I am Shannon with Pick and Boots Vintage. I'm located down in sunny Southwest Florida, and I'm here today to take part in another Makerathon. I'm very honored to be here again. Um, I'm so excited. I know you probably see a lot of stuff going on here, but I'm going to be doing a lot of stuff in a short amount of time. Um, but I will be going slow enough where you'll be able to understand what I'm doing. And I will also include a list of all the products that I use with the Maker Studio. Okay, so needless to say, I'm ready to get started. Okay, so my topic is thrift finds for Thanksgiving. <laughs> uh, you'd be amazed at what you can find at the thrift store. So in front of me right here, I have a little play setting. How cute is this? The colors? Well, we're going to decorate this and make it a little bit more personalized. In front of me, I have a little bit, some other projects too that we're going to do. Uh, but the first thing I really want to start with is this adorable little mug. If you notice, I've already placed the mesh stencils on my item just because I'm trying to save a little bit of time. These are super easy to put on. They're sticky. And you just make sure that they're straight. So I've chosen the pumpkin spice one. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use my hot and spicy for the word pumpkin. So I'm going to squeeze a little bit out here on my cardboard. And this is ceramic paint. The ceramic paint can go on all the ceramics, the mugs, the bowls, the plates. So all I'm doing is I'm simply using my artist brush and my paint and I'm pushing it through my mesh stencil. Again, this is the hot and spicy. It is bright, bright orange. I'm being careful not to go <clears throat> through the other parts because I'm gonna choose a different color for that. Well, yeah, we all know that pumpkin spice is very popular starting September 1st, right? I wish down here in Florida, it was a little bit cooler starting September 1st. And I also wish we had the leaves that turn colors too, but we're, we have the beach. <laughs> so um, I grew up up north, so I did get to experience all the leaf changes uh, from red to yellow and browns. All right, so I'm gonna do the rest of it in the dark chocolate latte. I'm gonna use my artist brush, a different one though. And this one I don't have to be as careful because I'm going to do the rest of it all in this color. I just want to be, make sure I don't touch the hot and spicy. This stuff is so easy to use and it's amazing what you can make. So this mug right here, it's a great shape. It's tall and skinny, perfect size for this stencil. I bought for $1. This will look great on your Thanksgiving table. You don't have coffee afterwards, like for pumpkin pie or anything like that. It, um, you can ha maybe have hot cocoa or something later, or even Thanksgiving morning, some coffee. Okay, so now I just need to get those stripes real quick. I want to be a little bit more careful as I go up there because I don't want to hit the orange. I'm hoping I don't need to squeeze any more out. I might have to see how much paint I have left on my brush. Okay, so now I just want to give it a once over to make sure I put paint over the whole entire stencil. We don't want any holes or as Miss Amy Howard calls them, holidays. Okay, so if you've been following the Maker Studio for a little while, the ceramic paint came in a bake formula before, which is a great product. You'd stick it in the oven, you'd bake it, and it'd, it'd be permanent. Now they have a no-bake formula, which is awesome. It is, okay, hold on. Oh my gosh. 
Look at how adorable. Oh my gosh. I get so excited with the reveals of all of my little projects that I make. Look how cute. Oh, I probably need to make a set of these and sell them here in my store. So I'm going to set this right here so you can see it. So adorable. Something very important about the upkeep of your stencils. If you're going to be doing a lot of different projects at the same time, I recommend keeping a bucket of water next to you. Just stick it in there to have time to clean it. What you don't want is for the paint to dry in the um, areas where the mesh stencil forms. Okay, so the next part we're going to do is we're going to do the, the bottom layer of our trio here. And I've already put this stencil on. How cute is this? Leftovers are for quitters. Amen. <laughs> um, for those of you who know me that are watching this video know that I love to eat. So Thanksgiving is one of my favorite holidays because I can eat and eat and eat. And the leftovers, though they're for quitters, I love them the next day. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our spreader again. And these are great because they're very flexible and you can cut them for whatever size you need. I don't need to cut this one because it's gonna be perfect to just spread. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take black. And I'm just gonna squeeze some out of my spreader. And I'm going to run it over my mesh stencil. Make sure I get every piece and part of the stencil covered with the ceramic paint. I'm going back over it just to get a microwave safe, but it is recommended that you do use your hand wash. Okay, so let's see the reveal. Look how cute this is. Imagine having a set of these at your Thanksgiving table when you have all your family over, they'll be so impressed. Okay, let me stick this down in the water. And this plate, I got a thrift store, I think I maybe paid 50 cents for it. Um, this one is, it's fine china, but I found Pottery Barn plates, I found Pier One plates, I found Rachel Ray plates, no more than for $1.50 each, which are totally worth it drying. Now I have a little bowl because sometimes people make squash soup or different kinds of soups on Thanksgiving. I just put a simple little pumpkin here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use my artist brush, the same one I used for the cup. <clears throat> and I'm going to use my hot and spicy paint again. Now let's take it off. And look at, voila, the cutest little pumpkin on a bowl. All right, so finally the last plate of my little set here. I've already put this stencil home on here. And with this stencil, it comes with some interchangeable pieces for the O and home. I'm not gonna use the acorn. I've decided I would rather use the turkey. So to make it easier, I'm just gonna simply take just a little bit of painter's tape and I'm gonna go ahead and cover up that acorn. Okay, so let me show you what it looks like. So I've covered up the acorn, so when I run this through my stencil, I won't get any ceramic paint in the acorn. All right, so here I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use angel wings, white. This will show up really pretty on this green plate. Again, found this at a thrift store. This one is a Pier 1 Imports plate. I think I paid 99 cents for it. And I've got, I've got like six of them, which is perfect for entertaining at Thanksgiving time. Okay, so I'm gonna squeeze them out here and grab some of the white angel wing ceramic paint. And I'm just gonna simply, just like I've been doing all along, push it through my stencil. So I'm just going to take the painter's tape off first. 
and you'll notice that no paint got into the acorn. Wow. Look how the angel wings white pops off this green plate. Okay, so we're going to do something a little bit fun here. We are going to, instead, like I said, when we're going to use an acorn, we're going to use, I've chosen the turkey. Uh, in the set, you get um, the pumpkin, the acorn, the turkey, or a leaf. And I've chosen to use the turkey because it is Thanksgiving after all. What I'm going to do is we're going to do something a little bit different here, but it's going to be fun. I'm going to put the turkey on and hopefully not mess up my white paint. Um, maybe I better wait a second for that to dry. I'm going to just stick that on the side just for a minute, let that dry. I'll come right back to that. Next, everybody has wine, generally, or wine glasses at the Thanksgiving table, whether you put wine or juice or soda or water in it. What I did was I just using the little leaf and I'm going to use the gold leaf. A maker studio has silver, gold, and copper, and I'm choosing to use the gold to make it a little bit fancy. This is also what I'm gonna use for the turkey in the middle of the home plate. I just wanna make sure that white ceramic paint dries a little bit before I put the turkey on because I do not want to ruin the home. Okay, so in order for the gold gilding to stick to the glass, you have to use something that is called size. It comes with a little container like this, and it's white. It's fairly simple to use. The hardest part is waiting for it to come to tack. I, I always get very excited, so I want to jump ahead, but you have to be patient because you want to make sure that the size comes to tack before you put the gold on. Brush. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my brush and I'm just gonna paint some of the size in the stencil. How well you can see the white, but I put a nice thin layer over the leaf of the size and then I'm gonna come back when it comes to tack and um, put my gold leaf on. But what I want to do now is I definitely want to make sure I take the stencil off because I don't want it to, the gold, the size to dry and keep my stencil on. Okay, let me hold it up. I'm hoping in the camera you can see. All right. So I'm just going to stick this in my bucket of water with the rest of the stencil I've been using. Okay, so now we're going to go back to the green plate and I'm going to put the turkey on there and then we're going to add some size to the plate too so I can come back and add the gold leaf when it comes to tack. When I say come to tack, what I mean is it will no longer be white and it'll have a slight, it'll be sticky so the gold leaf will adhere to the size. Just test it. It's pretty close. Turkey on. And I want to make sure I give the stencil a good rub down because I don't want any areas where the size can come through. Let me get my clean brush here. It's got a little bit of water on it. Let me just dry that off real quick. I'm going to go back into the size and I'm going to go ahead and put a thin layer on the turkey. This will make the turkey pop. It'll be gold. It looks beautiful. Okay. So that should do it. 
Now I'm just going to simply take the stencil off and then I'm going to let the size come to tack. We'll see how that turns out. Okay, so I'm just going to stick these off to the side for a second, let them come to tack and I'll be monitoring them. It's almost ready. Cap back on this one. It's very important when you go to use your gold gilding that your hands aren't sticky. Otherwise, the gold gilding will stick to your hands instead. I can already feel I've got some in my hands. So let's check this. Um, oh my gosh, it dry clear. I can't even see it. There he is. It's over there. Okay, so let's hope that this works. Here's my gold leaf. The gold leaf comes in these cute little booklets. You just fold the sheet back and I'm going to lay it on here. Oh, I obviously did something wrong. Ah, we go. Ta-da! The leaf. It's not perfect, but the mesh stencil had some different uh, depths of the mesh stencil. So this to me is beautiful. Imagine having a table full of these for your guests to drink their wine out of on Thanksgiving. Okay, so let's check the turkey. Yep, it's come to tack. So I'm gonna do the same thing with my gold leaf, but I'm gonna go ahead and use a piece that's left over from the glass and I'm just going to stick it on here making sure that I have every piece of the turkey covered and then I'm going to rub and hopefully reveal a turkey I'll use my little cloth here well he looks more like the state of Wisconsin, but it is a turkey. And look how beautiful the gold ties in with the white on this green plate. So what we would do is now that we have our table setting started, we would put this down and then I have this cute little, we all know the baskets are on trend right now, stick this on there and then put our little pumpkin bowl. I'm not gonna set it on top yet just because I just finished the gold leaf. But look how cute that is. Now, we all know that every table needs napkins. So I have these little napkins here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use this stencil and we're gonna make it on this napkin. What I'm gonna do is I'm simply gonna open it up I'm going to open up the area where I'm going to use and I'm going to take my little mesh stencil. See how easy it comes off? And I'm going to stick it right in the center here. I'm going to give it a nice firm press down to make sure that it is adhered well. And I've decided that I'm going to use the dark, the black. And I'm going to simply do it just like I did the ceramic paint, but this is called Gel Art, Art Ink. It's specifically made for fabric. It's amazing how well the paint just goes right through these. Now you can make the fabric and the gel art ink it make it permanent by ironing and setting it into your fabric so you can make it last and it can become washable oh that's so cute okay i'm gonna stick that in the water let me show you guys let me get this folded back up look at how adorable now imagine this with your play setting your napkin sitting next to your Thanksgiving setting. Now, 
Every table needs some decorations. And we are going to do this awesome tray. Look at the patina on this tray. This tray was picked up at a thrift store for 99 cents. Un unbelievable deal. I love trays like that. And I just love the patina. Then I just returned from the longest garage sale and I got a couple of these big amber jars and I thought it'd be really cool to put with the etching cream, oh my gourd. This will look great on the table. So we're gonna start with, let me get the etching cream. I'm gonna pour a little bit out right here on this. I'm gonna use a dopper by Maker Studio. And I'm simply going to make sure I get all my raffia out of the way. Then I'm gonna use my dauber and I'm going to make sure I got a nice coat on there and I'm going to pounce. Okay, so that is what it looks like. Let's stick this in water so I can reuse that at a later date. Let's pull this off. Amber glass has to be one of my favorite colors. I have a ton of amber glass at home. But look how pretty that is. So this could go right on your Thanksgiving table also. Maybe as a centerpiece or maybe just somewhere in the front where your, where your guests come in. And finally, my this has to be the, the one of the things that I just love the best. These look so so nice when you put just a little bit of the uh, chalk art on these. I'm choosing to put thankful down here purely because this will be in the center of the table and I plan on putting a bunch of stuff in it and I would like the thankful to show. So I'm going to go back and let's see, I'm going to use the chalk art and Peace and Joy. I'm gonna dip it into my Peace and Joy, the chalk art. And like everything else, I'm just gonna run it over the stencil. It glides so easy. Okay, I'm just going back over it to make sure I got every part of the stencil covered in a nice even layer. Okay, time for the reveal. Oh, it's stuck to me. <laughs> okay, so see, look how beautiful that little, the little tray is. Just enough thankful, because I'm gonna fill this up with de decor and it's gonna be on my table, but I want everybody to be able to see the thankful. I could have used the, the blessed one or something big in the middle, but then if I put stuff on it, they won't see it. So I chose to put it right here. Okay, so I've done a lot of projects and I've used a lot of the Maker Studio um, products. I want to thank you very much for watching me today. My name is Shannon and I'm with Pick and Boots Vintage down in Fort Myers, Florida. We have a store here and we have a lots of Lots and lots and lots of talented vendors here. So if you're ever in the Fort Myers area, stop in and say hello. Okay, you guys have a fabulous rest of your day.